Okay, welcome to creating a Wikispace for teachers. I went ahead to wikispaces.com, as you can see here. And what I'm going to do is I could either go ahead and sign in, I already have an account, or you can join now if you don't already have an account. The important thing here is to know that if you scroll down, there's a link for K-12 to teachers. And if you click Find Out More, you get directly to the site for creating a free wiki because you're an educator. What you should do if you don't have an account already, you fill in all this information, be sh being sure to click private and you certify it for K-12 to and join. However, if you already have an account, then in the upper right you should sign in with your username and password, which I'll do now. Uh, I'm using Firefox so it remembers it for me, which I love. And it takes me then right back here, but as you can see, I'm already logged in. And any wikis I'm a member of are listed on the left. Okay? So here's where you go ahead to create your new wiki space. It's kind of important in choosing the name that you think about your use. If you're going to be using it across different subject areas, say geometry, algebra, trigonometry, or different classes, and you want to use it from one year to the next, you could create multiple spaces by using different space names in here or you could launch one for the first time and then kind of branch off from that one like you do with a web page. So I have multiple already created. I'm going to create one here called Learning Every Day and I didn't use any spaces but you could uh, use an underscore, you could mix case it like this but uh, in the end it's kind of up to you, you just want to be able to remember it. Then be sure to check private, free for educators, and I certify the space will be used for K-12 education, and click create. Okay, so here's my new space, already all set. Welcome to learning every day. I've got the link up here in the left and the blank pages. So that's the step to getting started to create your wiki. And the next tutorial will go over uh, how to make changes to the pages and create new pages. Alright, so get going creating your wiki.